Hi, hello, this is Giri. Teaching 10th Mathematics, the chapter is a pair of linear equations into variables and this is exercise 4.1 and part 1 video. In this video, we will learn the solutions of question number 1 and 1 to 4 bits. Here is exercise 4.1. Dear students, this is question number 1. You may please see. By comparing the ratios a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2, find out whether the following pair of linear equations intersect at a point are parallel or coincident. I shall repeat. This is question number 1. By comparing the ratios a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2, find out whether the following pair of linear equations intersect at a point are parallel or coincident. See, if there are two lines, then there are three possibilities. Either both the lines may intersect or that pair of lines may be parallel or one line may coincide with another line. These are the three possibilities. Now we have to check whether the given pair of equations represent what type of lines are these. You can verify the first bit now. Here is the first bit, 5x minus 4y plus 8 is equal to 0 and 7x plus 6y minus 9 is equal to 0. These are the two given linear equations into variables. What is meant by linear equation? Linear equation means it is an equation of first degree. You can observe this. It is a first degree equation. And at the same time, it contains two variables. Therefore, it is a linear equation in two variables and again it is also a linear equation in two variables. And this, if we add these two, if we take these two, if we consider these two, then these two form a pair of linear equations into variables. Now, you have given these two linear equations in variables, two variables, and we are asked to find whether the lines are intersecting, or the lines are parallel, or the lines are coinciding. If you observe the first equation, first equation is in the form of a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 where a1 is equal to 5, b1 is equal to minus 4 and c1 is equal to constant term is 8. a1 means coefficient of x which is equal to 5, b1 means coefficient of y which is equal to minus 4, minus 4 and c1 means constant term which is equal to 8. And observe the second equation now, 7x plus 6y minus 9 is equal to 0. This is in the form of a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 a2 means coefficient of x is equal to 7, b2 means coefficient of y is equal to plus 6 and c2 means constant term is minus 9. Now let us find the ratio of a1 by a2, ratio of their x coefficients that is a1 by a2, a1 value is 5 and a2 value is 7 therefore a1 by a2 is 5 by 7. Next b1 by b2. It is the ratio of the y coefficients. B1 value is minus 4 by B2. B2 value is 6 and you can cancel 2 in 4 2 times and in 6 3 times. Therefore, minus 4 by 6 is equal to minus 2 by 3. And C1 by C2. C1 value is 8 by C2 value is minus 9 which is equal to minus 8 by 9. If you observe these three values, it is clear that a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. We got a1 by a2 value as 5 by 7 and b1 by b2 value is minus 2 by 3. So, both are not equal. a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. In such a case, in any pair of linear equations, if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2, then the lines are intersecting lines. Okay? Therefore, the pair of linear equations represents an intersecting lines. Is it clear? Good. Now let us solve B bit now. In B bit, we have given again a pair of linear equations. First equation is 9x plus 3y plus 12 is equal to 0. And second equation is 18x plus 6y plus 24 is equal to 0. This is in the form of a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0. a1 means coefficient of x is equal to 9. And B1 means coefficient of Y is equal to 3. C1 means constant term which is equal to 12 in this case. C1 is equal to 12. C1 is equal to 12. 
Next observe the second equation. 18x plus 6y plus 24 is equal to 0. A2 means coefficient of x in second equation which is equal to 18. A2 is equal to 18. B2 is coefficient of y is equal to 6 and C2 is constant term which is 24. Now let us find the ratio A1 by A2. A1 value is 9 by A2 value is 18, 9 by 18. You can cancel 9 in 9 one time and in 18 two times. Therefore, A1 by A2 value is 1 by 2. And let us find B1 by B2. B1 value is 3 and B2 value is 6. Therefore, B1 by B2 is 3 by 6. 3 in 3 one time and in 6 two times. Therefore, B1 by B2 is also 1 by 2. And let us find C1 by C2. C1 value is 12 by C2 value is 24. Again, 12 in 12 one time and in 24 two times. Therefore, if you observe, A1 by A2 value is 1 by 2. B1 by B2 value is also 1 by 2 and C1 by C2 value is also 1 by 2. So, A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 and is also equal to C1 by C2. In such a case, if all these three are equal in ratio, then the lines are coinciding lines. Therefore, the pair of linear equations represents coinciding lines. Is it clear students? For example, in a case, if A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 and is not equal to C1 by C2. Okay. If in any case, if A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 and is not equal to C1 by C2 in such a case, then the lines may be parallel. Okay. Clear? Good. Thank you. Thank you Ananda.